working with notes and journals. If you know anything about me from my video bio or other nuggets, and you probably know that I have a bachelor's degree in English and I was in the music biz throughout the 1980s. Well, one thing I learned as a songwriter and a creative writer is that you can fight off writer's block by constantly keeping notes and journals of your thoughts, ideas, and observations. Maybe your profession is one where you're creative, like marketing, or advertising, or creating software. Or maybe you do a lot of the same tasks every day. It doesn't matter. Regardless, we want to get organized. We don't want to lose vital information. We don't want to lose ideas or observations. So, dear diary, today I wrote a nugget. In this nugget on working with notes and journals, we're going to make four key observations of our own. First of all, we're going to look at all the aspects of working with notes in Outlook 2003. We'll then talk about the great feature of automatic journaling. We'll look at how to create manual journal items. And then finally, managing and organizing those journals. All right, let's get going. Alrighty, I'm in Outlook 2003, logged on in Michael Shannon in my Exchange organization. I'm using my Exchange client right now, looking at my mailbox. Of course, all this information being stored up on my Exchange server in my Exchange organization. Now, if I look at the actual folder list here, I can see I've got a notes object. Let's go down, though, and use this particular uh, toolbar right down here and find our notes object. There it is. Let's choose this option now. And I can see that I've got a couple of different things to look at. These are the notes that I've created. Uh, I just kind of uh, wrote these up for today. And this kind of gives you the, an idea of the kind of things that you would create notes for. Uh, reminders. Uh, daily reminders of things that you need to do, things that you want to do, some goals, uh, things that you're shooting for uh, in that particular day. I've got notes here, particular marketing campaign ideas. Uh, notes are good for questions that may come into your mind, pop into your mind during the course of the day. Maybe questions that come up during meetings. Meetings which could be uh, net meeting by Microsoft or teleconferencing. Uh, maybe you're just doing some brainstorming on some new ideas. Maybe you've got code snippets that you want to put into notes. Maybe you're doing research on the web and you just want to copy and paste uh, into some particular notes here. Or maybe you've just got uh, just information that you want to do for a personal reason. Personal notes, maybe you're writing a song or writing a poem to that special person and you just want to write it in some notes. You can see here I've got several ways to view these notes. I'm looking at large icons right now. This is the default setting. I can go to small icons. And also notice that I have different colors here. I created this different color scheme when I actually created my notes. And I'll show you how to do that here in just a second. I've also got over here in my current view, I've got the notes list. This is kind of a neat thing. It shows you uh, the actual name of the note or the first uh, bit of the note. It's also got, of course, information that's inside of the note, and then, of course, the date and time stamp over here. I can see the notes for the last seven days. I can see notes by category, and, of course, as you know, uh, these are all in the same category. I haven't categorized them yet. If you've seen any of the previous nuggets in this series, you know that all of these different objects and items within Outlook 2003 can be easily categorized uh, to make it a lot easier. We'll do that here in just a second. I can also organize these by color, and I can see my reminders are in pink. Uh, I've got research notes in green, brainstorming in blue. If I scroll down here, I've got my teleconferencing and uh, conferences in yellow, and I've also got white, which is just ordinary code snippets or uh, ordinary notes. So you can see a wide variety of ways to view notes here. Uh, and uh, let's go back to icons, and I'm going to go to large icons, and we'll kind of work from here. Creating new notes are simple. I can just come over here to this particular pane and I can double click and it gives me a new note or I can always use my right click in my context menu to create a new note or up here you've got the new, click on new note and it creates one that way. If I want to create a new note for maybe some uh, hip hop lyrics, maybe in my spare time I'm a hip hop artist and I want to do some uh, hip-hop lyrics here, I can go ahead and do that. And if I want to, I can close my note up, 
or right over here on the upper left hand corner you see a little icon if you click on that it's going to give you lots of options for this note uh, I can save this note as a particular name I can also go up and give it color if I want all of my hip-hop notes to be in green I can do that go right back up here I can also categorize my note and it brings up a little category box and again you've seen this before hopefully if you've seen some of the previous nuggets in fact reunion here was a category that we created ourselves and we went to the master category list and created new categories and you may want to create new categories for your notes uh, if I want to create a category for lyrics I can certainly do that go to master category list go up here and type in lyrics add OK and then I can scroll down here and choose lyrics and put that in the category list of lyrics maybe also I want to put this in another category as well personal and that looks pretty good click on OK so I've categorized that again this context menu right here this icon allows you to go in and we're gonna connect this note to some contacts here in a second but we can also print the note from here as well. If I click on this print object, you've only got really one style. It's the memo style. And you can preview that and it kind of gives you a, I can maximize that. It gives you a preview right here of your notes. All right, let's close this down or go up here and close this here. And I'm going to close this down and we'll get back. And there's my hip hop lyrics right there in the notes area. It's always better to categorize your notes when you create them, but you can always add them to categories after the fact very easily. For example, if I want to add some of my notes to a business category, maybe a strategies category, I can hold down the control key, click on marketing campaign ideas, brainstorming, questions for security, net meeting, teleconferencing, and I can right click and go to categories and add all of these to the business category. And I'll scroll down, maybe put them in goals and objectives, and then also we'll put them in the strategies categories. Click on OK, and they're all in there. Maybe write my reminders, if I use the control key, right click on the two reminder notes, might want to go to categories and make my own category called reminders. I don't have one, but we can make one called reminders. We can add it, go down and select it, click on OK, and then we'll make sure we select reminders here, click on it. OK, and they're in the Reminders category. I might want to uh, select Web Research, uh, hold down co Control Key for Code Snippets, maybe Notes from Yesterday, and right click and go to Categories. And we can add these maybe in a Goals and Objectives category and maybe Ideas. Click on OK. And now if we go up to View on the main menu, we can arrange these by the current view being by category. And we can see now they're broken down into categories for us. We've got them categorized and color coded. Uh, we've got the business category. We've got goals and objectives. We've got our ideas. Uh, we've got our lyrics. Uh, also in personal, we've got our reminders, all in their own reminders category. And of course, strategies. A great way to organize your notes in Outlook 2003. All right. Let's go over here to the current view and change it to the notes list, which is a great way to see your notes and information in those notes. I can also see that I've got these arranged by date. Uh, by default, the newest notes are on top. If I can, I can go to this and say oldest on top. I can go and toggle between newest and oldest on top. I can also arrange these differently by right-clicking on this bar right here and just choosing. I can arrange them by size, arrange them by subject, and of course arrange them by categories as we know as well. We've also got the ability to go and customize the way we're viewing these. And this is the same dialog box that we've seen in previous objects in Outlook 2003 where we can customize the field, the grouping, filtering, sort ascending, sort descending. I'll go ahead and click on cancel. Let's go to this marketing campaign ideas notes. Let's say I want to forward this note as an attachment to somebody either within my organization or outside of my organization. I'm just going to go over here and right click and choose forward. And I'm going to open up here. I've got Microsoft Word. This is my default email editor in Office 2003. It's Word 2003. 
If yours doesn't look exactly like this and you probably don't have Word installed on your system, then you're using the default editor, the Outlook 2003 editor, which will look slightly different than this. Notice it's going to be sent via the Microsoft Exchange server. It'll be attaching this note as an attachment. If I click on 2, I can say, you know what? I want Boyd DeMarco, this to go to Boyd DeMarco. I want to send a copy of this to Chandy Ashenfelter, and then a blind copy will send to Connie Wong, and we'll click on OK. Then, of course, I can add some information down here and format it in all the great ways I'd like to. Then, of course, just click on Send to send this note along to those individuals. Yeah, back in the large icon view, let's go ahead and uh, choose this questions for security conference. Double click on this, and this is some questions I wrote down when I was at a, a recent security conference. Uh, things like, how do I update my antivirus software? Uh, what's the best intrusion detection system? Then I started to get kind of bored, and I started typing questions like, what would chairs look like if our knees bent in the opposite direction? Uh, does this maybe look fat? Uh, things like that. Anyway, so I go up here to the this little icon, and if I click on this, I'm going to go ahead and link this note to a contact. So I'll click on the contacts button here. I can type in the name. I'll just go and choose James Conrad. Click on OK, and link this to James Conrad. Click on close, and then we'll go ahead and close down this particular note. Now, if I go to the navigation bar down here and find the contacts icon, there it is, contacts. I would click on this and I want to go find James Conrad. If he doesn't show up here, use it alphabetically over here. Here's James Conrad. I'll double click on this and in the activities tab I'll now have added to other activities. Uh, for example, the tasks on the security briefing, a contract agreement. I also have this note, questions for security conference, it's been attached or linked to this contact. Uh, James Conrad because I took these notes to use and he's the guy I want to ask. So you can see how we can integrate these notes uh, into our other objects in Outlook 2003. Pretty cool. Okay, let's go ahead now and move on to another aspect of keeping information, storing information that we've about things we've done during the course of our day. Uh, one way to kind of combine information about email, phone calls, appointments, notes. We can use the journal feature of Outlook 2003. Now many people are going to go ahead and just use the calendar and they're going to integrate it all within their calendar system and attach to that, but the journal is kind of an extra add-on feature that can allow you to really get organized, kind of like that Franklin Planner. Let's take a look at the journal now. I'm going to go back down to the navigation bar and I'm going to choose the folder list and when I do this will give me access to that journal object here uh, within Michael Shannon's mailbox stored on my Exchange server. Now, in the journal here, I really don't have a whole lot of information uh, showing up here. And so I want to kind of give you one of the first things that you want to use for the journal, in my opinion, is one of the best ways to uh, use this particular feature is to turn on what's called automatic journaling. This way you can have Outlook create an automatic journal entry for a whole bunch of things that you do throughout your day. You can journal your received email messages, your sent email messages, any tasks that you're requesting. Maybe you create files or other office application folders. You can record activities based on any kind of contact, any office document, or any Outlook item uh, within Outlook 2003. This can be done for business reasons, security reasons, for legal reasons. Maybe you just want to kind of cover your butt and to make sure that you have everything uh, routinely journaled when you talk to certain uh, key personnel, certain clients, certain customers, uh, certain individuals. You track all of the exchanges that you have with that particular person. Let me show you how to turn on uh, automatic journaling. I'm going to go up to Tools in the main menu, look familiar, Tools Options. In the Preferences tab here, the Preferences dialog box, notice under Contacts, we have Journal Options. So what I might want to do is this. I might want to automatically record email messages, meeting requests, and task requests uh, for these contacts. Anthony Sequera, these are, of course, contacts in my Outlook uh, address book, Anthony Sequera. 
and James Conrad. I also want to record files, uh, Excel spreadsheet files. Now, realize when you do this, this is going to record anytime James Conrad or Anthony Sakura accesses Excel spreadsheet files. Now, when you set this up, uh, this is going to apply to all of the documents that I create, open, close, or save with Excel. So you really want to be careful because it's going to create quite a few journal entries. So use this option for recording files uh, with care and use it sparingly. So again, this is going to automatically record uh, emails, meeting requests, task requests from these individuals, these contacts, and Excel spreadsheet files that these particular users access. I can also say when I double click on a journal entry, do I want it to open up the journal entry or do I want it to open the item that's referred to by the journal entry? Open up the task? Do I want to open up the email? Do I want to open up the contact, for example? And also I have the ability to auto archive all my journal entries. Now we're going to talk about auto archiving a little bit later on, but in a nutshell, this just automatically archives all these entries to a particular location stored locally uh, on your workstation. So I'm going to click on OK, and then we'll click on OK again. So now as I start emailing James Conrad and Anthony Sequeira and working with tasks between these two individuals as well as uh, together accessing Excel spreadsheet files, these entries are going to start showing up here uh, stacked up in my journal on a daily basis and I can access this by clicking on this. And this gives me a way to track all this information. Now there's no real easy way to turn off the automatic journaling feature. You have to just go back to tools, options, and just deselect the individual contacts, uh, the individual uh, types of things that you want to journal, and of course uh, the spreadsheet options as well, which you may want to turn off once you see all the entries that starts adding to this particular area. First, today is Friday, June 4th, and I can create a journey, a journal entry anytime by just double clicking uh, on this particular date here. And I'm going to get this untitled journal entry where you can, of course, create a subject. Is it a phone call with this person? Look at all the different types of activities that we have with this journal entry. And again, all these different uh, applications in the Office Suite. Is it a remote session, a phone call, a fax, a letter, uh, the company name? I can also start a timer to time the activity of this particular uh, negotiation or this particular communication and notes in here as well. And again, I can link this journal entry to a contact and I can categorize all these journal entries as well. So you can also create manual journal entries just by going to the date and double clicking and getting this dialog box. Now I want to suggest that what you do is I want you to try out the journal on your own because this is one of those things that you may or may not use. It actually may create uh, more work for you and more clutter than you really need. Journals are really good when you need to track certain activities with certain customers, with certain partners, uh, access certain document tracking. So you want to turn this on for a week or two and kind of see how it fills up this journal area. Again, you already know the skills that you need to go and view your journal. Uh, like any other object, you can arrange it by different views and you're familiar with all these by contact, by category the last seven days. You can also view by phone calls if you're actually using your journal to track phone calls, which is one of the best ways to use your journal. Again, you can also look at it day, week, or month. So again, the best way to understand how to use the journal, which needs to fill up over the course of several days or several weeks, is to just go try it out and use it on your own. Now, of course, you can always print your journal entry uh, by just simply going and double clicking on it. And you can go to File, and you can choose the Print option to print your journal. And like any other object, you can share your journal within Outlook 2003 by right-clicking and choosing Sharing. And you get the familiar dialog box again where you can add different permission levels for different users to access your journal and share it and give a wide variety of permission levels uh, for owning, editing, publishing, reviewing, and contributing to this particular journal object in Outlook 2003. All right, great job with notes and journals. Use them, get a feel for them, integrate them into your everyday activities, and see if it can help you make, make you more efficient and more effective in your organization.
Okay, what I've done is I've gone ahead and created some entries into my journal. Since these are automatically being journaled for me, I went ahead and sent some email messages between myself and Anthony and James, a meeting request to these two particular contacts. Also, we've accessed an Excel spreadsheet called a Security Assess for Security Assessment, made a couple of phone calls, made a call to Anthony, made a follow-up phone call to Anthony, also a task request down here. Uh, for security assessment and interviewing we need to do for a meeting we want to have on uh, next Monday. So you can see all these things are being journaled. Now I can view these in a wide variety of different ways, categorize them, filter them. You know where to go, how to, to do this. So you want to create your own journal entries over a period of time and really experiment with this. If you want to create an individual manual entry, let's say a phone call, just double click on it. I could just say follow up. to A for Anthony, this needs to be follow up, put a P in there, follow up to Anthony, it's a phone call, I could just get on the phone with Anthony right now, start the timer, uh, be taking notes while I'm talking to Anthony uh, during this particular phone call, while we're talking I can connect him to his contact information, I can categorize this, we can talk four or five minutes, I can take notes along the way, and again, I could even create a note and I could attach it to this journal entry itself. You know how to do that in the notes area. And again, when I'm, I can pause the timer, take a breather, or I can leave the timer running when I'm done. I'll just save and close. And I've got another follow-up phone call. You can view any of these particular entries by just double-clicking on it. It brings it up in its own window. You can see the file that's been accessed here, the Excel spreadsheet. I can also go and look at other tasks information as well. So just a really great way to use the automatic journaling feature to go and track uh, activities with individual contacts for individual types of Outlook activities and also Office documents as well like this particular shared spreadsheet document. All right, journaling in Outlook 2003. Very powerful. In this CBT Nugget on working with notes and journals, we looked at several areas for helping you track your ideas for your activities during the day, uh, not only to yourself, but with other individual contacts in your organizations, other office documents, and other types of Outlook 2003 items. First of all, we looked at working with notes and all the different ways we can manage and organize those notes in Outlook. We also turned on automatic journaling and looked at our options there. I showed you how to create a manual journal item in the journal object folder. And then finally, managing our journal. I hope this CBT Nugget's been informative for you. I want to thank you for viewing.